It's time once again for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story, and today is a special day for Uncle Matt. You see, Auntie Julie and I got married today. What, today? Just, just a few minutes ago? No. 25 years ago. It is our anniversary, and I thought today I would read a story about a wedding, and it was the wedding of the century, apparently. I thought my wedding was pretty special. Oh, I remember this. We we got married in a church, but it wasn't quite the church that we wanted to go to. The church was being built, so we were in a rented church. Um, it was still beautiful. We had musicians. We had singers. We had wonderful food at a at a beautiful site for the reception. We had ice fountains. Ah, it was glorious. A wonderful, wonderful wedding. I still remember. But this story might beat us. No, I think I think my wedding probably rocked compared to this. But nonetheless, here it is. Fancy Nancy and the Wedding of the Century. Written by Jane O'Connor, illustrated by Robin Priest. Glasser. And this story was copyright in 2014. Here we go. Fancy Nancy and the Wedding of the Century. Weddings are always such glorious occasions. Occasion, occasion is a fancy word for a special event. I have planned so many weddings, and now finally. I am going to a real one. My Uncle Cal called. He's getting married. Bree has been a flower girl twice. Right away, she asks lots of questions. Will the guests come in tuxedos and long gowns? Will it be at a fancy hotel? And most important, who will you be the flower girl? I am almost 100% sure of that, but Uncle Cal wants everything to be a surprise. All we know is that the bride, all we know is the bride's name, and that bride's name is Dawn. I'll tell Bree. Dawn is a fancy way of saying sunrise. With such a fancy name, the wedding is sure to be fancy, too. The wedding is two weeks away. I dream about it day and night. I am packed long before we leave. At last, the big day arrives. Off we go. I may shut my eyes for a moment or two to get a little beauty rest. Ooh la la! We arrive at the hotel and I cannot believe my eyes. It looks like a palace. A palace is even bigger than a castle. There is a pool as large as a lake and the world's longest water slide. Whoa! I spend the afternoon at the beauty salon. And wee, 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 I am the flower girl. Jojo gets to hold my train. At the reception, which is a fancy name for a party, there is a band and a DJ. We all dance the night away. It's the wedding of the century. All of a sudden, I hear my mom calling, Nancy, Nancy, we're here, wake up. Say what? Was I dreaming the whole thing? When I get out of the car, I cannot believe my eyes. 
We are in the wilderness. Suddenly I have a terrible feeling that the wedding will not be like the one in my dreams. I'm the flower girl, right? I asked my mom. No, it's just the bride and groom, she says. My mom explained that Uncle Cal and Don want a wedding that is informal, non-traditional. I realized right away those are fancy sounding words for P-L-A-I-N, plain. But I got ready to stay up, in, oh, but I get to stay up until midnight at the reception, I asked my dad. Actually, the wedding is in the morning with breakfast after. My dad rubs his hands together and smacks his lips. Mmm, pancakes. Breakfast? Breakfast is the least fancy meal of the day. I try very hard to conceal my disappointment. That means I won't let anyone see how unhappy I am. At least there is a water slide. Jojo and I meet Don. I like collecting unusual pebbles, Don tells us. Want to help me find some? Ma, we oui, of course we would, I say. Ooh la la, here's a big one in the shape of a heart. It's translucent. That means you can see right through it, I explained to Don. I give Don the heart pebble because she and Uncle Cal are in love. I will keep this forever, Don says. Oh, the pebble can count as something new. Don explains that brides like to have something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue on their wedding day. It's a tradition. But our mom said the wedding is non-traditional. I say, you're not doing the usual things. Don smiles. That's true, but I like this tradition. And all I need is something borrowed. No problem, I say. I can let you borrow something. Don comes back with us to our cabin. I find something absolutely perfect for her. That night, there is a party. I get to stay up past midnight. I never knew the wilderness was so noisy. An owl hoots, crickets chirp. At long last, I fall asleep. It seems like only a minute later I have to get up and get dressed for the wedding. Of all the guests, I am the fanciest by far. Here comes the bride. Dawn is beyond beautiful. She is exquisite, breathtaking, ravishing. Can you guess what she borrowed from me? during the ceremony. We all weep a little because that is what you do at weddings. It's a tradition. Uncle Cal and my new Aunt Dawn kiss just as the sun is coming up. I've changed my mind. There's nothing more glorious than a non-traditional wedding. Oh, last one in is a rotten egg. Fun. Fancy Nancy. And it looks like there is a bunch of Fancy Nancy books. This is a series. I'll look into some more of those. Well, that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.